So I wasn't allowed to film in there. Um, I was trying to be like super discreet. Are we on? Hey guys, good afternoon. It is about 3.45. I'm in Austin right now. I am uh, driving, so if you notice me looking this way, I'm trying to be safe. I'm actually headed to a few um, vintage shops, thrifting. There's one place I'm gonna go to called uh, Flamingos, and then there's another place we're gonna go to, which I think you guys are probably familiar with because if I'm not mistaken, um, it's an actual like chain called Buffalo Exchange. So I'm gonna actually head there too, but we're gonna make a quick pit stop. I'm gonna head over to Target because I need to get an adapter for my iPhone to use this new mic that I'm excited for you guys to hear me talk on and for you guys to see because it's supposed to be like really good quality um, and I just need to get that adapter. So that way any type of videos that I'm gonna be filming today on my phone, I'll know that I'll have like that, you know, dope mic that you guys are gonna get some good uh, quality content off of. So I'm really excited for that. So right now we're just gonna head over to Target. It's Memorial Day weekend. so. Austin is crazy right now. So there's a lot of activity going on. I'm really excited. This first place, I'm gonna give you guys just a little rundown real quick. Um, this first place, I've never experienced thrifting when you buy things by the pound. Um, so I'm excited to actually experience this with you guys and just tell you what I learned about it because I have no idea. I don't know how it works. I just know that it's purchased by the pound. So I'm actually really excited for that. Um, so, you know, I'll give you guys all the deets on that whenever we get there. But right now, let's get to Target because we need to get that adapter. I am parked on the side of the road. I'm trying to get a good angle here. I am parked on the side because here in Austin, like you can't park at the Target, if that makes sense. So you have to kind of just park on the side of the road and of course, everything is taken so i'm also checking out my flyaways here this is all new growth guys don't come for me don't come for the new growth yeah i think i am parked illegally but it's okay i'm only going to be here for a few minutes right now i wanted to show you guys um here in austin there's a lot of really dope areas um, i really enjoy coming here because everything is just so different and edgy and it's just it's it's super dope here i i really love it so randomly where i just parked i'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys um, there is like a ton of like graffiti art and the areas are just, man, it's just amazing. Then over here to the left, I'll show you guys, is like apartments and stuff. So, I mean, literally imagine, I mean, they live by a railroad, but imagine like living here and then right across, you just have like this really dope, you know, atmosphere. I just love the vibe. I love the vibe a lot. I really love Austin. So um, I used to come here pretty much two times a month. Like I was here literally every other week every other weekend. I'm sorry, I gotta take that. So right here, guys, I'm just noticing, you guys probably saw my TikToks that I went to a place called Pavement here in Austin. This is another location because this is not the one I went to and this one looks really dope too. Yeah, we'll definitely have to try that one soon. But that is, um, I wonder how many locations are here now. Now I'm curious because like I said, that's not the one I went to. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And it looks like we are almost to our destination. It says about two minutes and it's gonna be on our left hand side. I am just, for no reason whatsoever, so nervous driving here and I don't know why. It's just every, there's so many stop signs, there's so many like one ways, there's bike lanes, believe it or not guys, where I live um, in San Antonio, there, it's rare, you don't see bike lanes. So here, I just feel like super nervous driving right now and I don't know why. I did want to point out that pavement store to you guys, I fucked up. <laughs> I took us to Flamingo Automotive. So in the first clip, when I was trying to be all cute, putting the address into my ways, you're probably gonna see me click on Flamingo Automotive. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> we'll just pretend that that did not happen. And now we're going to Flamingo. <laughs> 
So I'm thinking it's gonna be over here by the other thrift shops because this area looks a lot more like where that shop would be as opposed to back there. So yeah, Flamingo Automotive, yay for us. And it's gonna be on our left-hand side. So yeah, I was right. In about one minute, 0 0.2 miles, it's gonna be on our left. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like I'm always lost. <laughs> So yeah, this is this is a lot more where I was kind of envisioning that this place would be, honestly. Because as you can see here, it's it's a lot more lively. Yeah, there it is. Cool. And it doesn't look like there's a lot of people, which I appreciate. Ah, oh, it's super cute. I love it. So cute. Let's park back here. So that way I can kind of talk to you guys before we go in. Yay! Okay. I am staying on West 6th, and to get here from where I was, I'm gonna say maybe it was about 10 minutes or so. It was about 10 minutes. I did have to hop on the highway, but literally I hopped on and I got right off. Like I was on the highway maybe two, three minutes. It wasn't bad. Um, today, traffic was a little busier, I guess, because it is a holiday weekend. It's Sunday, Sunday, fun day. Um, but yeah, even with traffic, I got here like in 10 minutes. And this area that we're at is around other thrift stores. So if you're thinking of coming, this is a great place to start because then you can literally walk your way down here and you can go to pavement. I saw another place that was next door to pavement that looked really dope too. Um, so yeah, you're, you're going to get a good a good you know bang for your trip if you come over here because there's a lot to do in this area i've never been here i've never even been to this side so this is my first time as well so when we walk out i'll kind of peek around for you guys and show you what's around here i'm sure there's like restaurants there's probably even some bars or something so if you wanted to make like a fun day out of it um you could but yeah if you notice the building it looks really dope let's get down so that way we can check it out together really dope i put my mask on already because i always have trouble like putting it behind my hair but this is a place that looks really dope. Um, it's pavement is actually closer than I thought. It's literally like right across the street. So yeah, you could hit a lot of ground here, honestly. And then over here um, is Buffalo Exchange, which is the other place. Look at her outfit. Look how dope she looks. Um, so Buffalo Exchange is the other place I wanted to go to. And if you see how it says new and recycled fashion, so there's always like a lot of talk about, is it a vintage shop? Is it a thrift store? Is it like a buy sell kind of Plato's closet type of thing? Um, so that is nice that it actually says new and recycled fashion. Here at Flamingos, it just says clothing. Yeah, clothing by the pound. It doesn't really say much, but I do appreciate that Buffalo Exchange has that. Sorry, that Buffalo Exchange has that written like on the wall. I really like that because it, it tells me what I'm in for. Um, so yeah, let's go in. As you can see, everything is so colorful. It's so cute. I'm excited. I made it inside, so this place is really cool. They have like a ton, a ton of stuff. I'm gonna kind of pan around um, really quick to just give you like a little sneak peek. So, I mean, they have stuff everywhere. And of course, we're in Texas, so we have to have boots. Yeah, so really dope. So right now I'm just like in the graphic tees, just checking out the graphic tees. Um, this is where I like to start. I always like to start on the graphic tees. So let me show you. I have some really dope stuff. Selena! So yeah, this is really dope. This is a large. Really cool. I like it. Yeah, thank you. This is really cool, guys, how they have like the corsets and stuff like the lingerie it's really really cute these are super in right now with like jeans super super cute this is like a more like trendy place i feel because they have like a whole rack of like crop tops and then they have like a full rack of like um denim jeans they have really cute shoes so yeah i like it i wanted to show you guys there was a lot of people, so I wanted to respect their privacy, but I found this crop top. Isn't that super cute? I'm going to wear it with my green Nike Dunks, the off-white ones. So this is really dope. So far, this is what I found. Look at all the jerseys, guys. How cool is that? 
I was saying earlier that um, there was a lot of people in the area that I was at or wanted to be at. Um, so I wanted to respect their privacy, but um, they had like a whole rack of crop tops, like literally crop tops. There was crop tops everywhere. Um, and then they were already cut. So I guess it's like shirts that somebody buys and then they cut them and then they had like a whole rack of just crop tops. It was really, really, really dope. Really, really cool. Um, they have like a whole rack of tie-dye too. So they had like this whole rack of tie-dye, which I'll show you guys in a minute. But I did want to show you the decor. Oh, hi. So look how cool this is. It has a little flamingo. Just the aesthetic is just so cute. I love it. Look at that. So cool. More tie-dye. It's really, really cool. I know I keep saying cool, but... <laughs> So it's finally empty over here. And this is what I was telling you guys about the crop tops. So like they have a whole rack of just nothing but crop tops. <laughs> like check that out, all crop tops. And like I said, some of them are like already made as crop tops. And then I think some of them are like maybe cut. Look at the hey Arnold, how cute. And then these were the shorts. So now that nobody's over here, I can kind of show you the shorts. Tons, look at those. With the chains on them, that's dope. So these are all the shorts. And then like I said, you see how some of the pricing is different. So I'll figure that out for you guys. But I mean, they have Levi's, more Levi's. These are like long kind of like board shorts as well. They have more shorts down here. Some are cutoffs, and then they have like cropped button up shirts, which believe it or not, guys, here in Austin, people wear these all the time. It's really cute. So, yeah, really dope. Give you like an overall view. Super, super nice. Super dope. I got that one shirt that I showed you. I wanted to give you a little bit of a rundown. The salesperson told me that everything is by the pound, but there are some items that you do pay just outright for. So on the tag, it'll actually have the price and then next to it, it'll say pound. If it says pound, then you can buy it by pound. But if it doesn't say pound on it, then that's what you have to pay retail. So the shirt I got was 10 bucks. You know, I'll show you guys later. I'll even try it on for you guys later. Um, and I love it, I'm obsessed. So I only found one thing, but we're about to cross the street and go over here to um, Buffalo Exchange. So let's do it safely because I'm a good, responsible influence. We're gonna go the crosswalk like we're supposed to. We are rolling up on Buffalo Exchange. So let's see what they have. Again, remember I told you guys, it says new and recycled fashion. So I guess they have like new stuff as well. So we'll, we'll check it out right now and see but already you can see in the window, they have like really dope stuff. I am in Buffalo Exchange. This place is a lot bigger. It's honestly a lot nicer and like spacious. They have a lot of cool stuff. I'm in the bags right now. So like they have like these little bags. I mean, check out this bag. How cute is that? And it's $22. So the prices are a little different here. So you can see have really 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 cool bags really cool like look at this little furry one and they range about $20 so yeah update so I wasn't allowed to film in there um, I was trying to be like super discreet um, but still I wasn't allowed to film they told me that they were uh, totally fine with me uh, filming but it would have to be like early in the morning when there's not a lot of uh, customers around which is fine with me. Um, it was no biggie. They were really nice about it. Um, so I couldn't film anything else, but I'll give you guys a rundown and let you know what I thought of the store. You got a little sneak peek. The store is like really large. Everything is very spaced out, which I really appreciate. Um, and they had not a ton of selection, not, not the way uh, Flamingo did, not, not the way Flamingos did. Um, they had some stuff, but, um, the overall selection and everything and the vibe was better at Flamingos in my opinion. Uh, Buffalo Exchange, like I said, 
they have everything very well spaced out. They have a lot of new stuff. The prices are a lot higher in my opinion, but the things that I was grabbing did look kind of brand new. So um, it was about 20, 20, 25. There was some stuff in there I saw for 30 and then the more used stuff that you can tell was actually brought in and sold. Um, those ranged anywhere from like $8. I saw a hat and then I saw like a flannel that went all the way up to like $25. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, of course, once I get this video like all uploaded and everything, I'll give you a more non-scrambled <laughs> version um, of my opinion on the stores, but that's pretty much it. So right now um, I am gonna eat because I am starving. So I am at a Mediterranean grill, <laughs> kebabsy. And yeah, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Love you guys. I'm in the car, it's starting to rain. I took an L at Buffalo Exchange. Um, I didn't find anything there and then they said what we couldn't film in there. Um, but right now I am going to pavement. So let me show you. I have been here before, um, not this location, but I've been to the other location. So hopefully um, we can find something really good in there. If for some reason they do tell me um, that I can't film or or anything like that. I am gonna continue to look around, um, see what I can find, and if I do find anything, I'll show you guys. But hopefully, everything will go good. I have, um, like I said, been in this store before, so, um, and I know they have really dope stuff. So I'm excited to check out this location. And then right next to it, it's in a shopping center, um, but it's taking up the majority of the shopping center. So in my opinion, I think it might be, it's smaller than the first one I went to. Um, this one definitely is a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks pretty dope. I'm excited to go in. So I made it into pavement and I'm in the shoe section right now. So I'm just kind of taking a peek at all the shoes that they have. Some little Converse here. Let's see what the prices are like. Oh, $17.95, that's not bad. They have like a really big selection. These little fur slides are cute. These are cute. Adidas. Cute. Whoa. So this shoe department is actually really big. They have a ton of shoes. A ton.
I have a lot of jeans, guys, a ton. So the jeans go all the way from here, all the way down, and then back on this side. All jeans. Check these out. It matches that shirt that I got over at uh, the last place. But these, let's see what size they are. Size 12, they're not my size. But maybe oversized, they could work. They were vice denim which actually runs really small. So these might work. Let's check these out. Hey babes, I'm finally filming for YouTube. I went and did some thrifting in Austin on Memorial Day weekend, and I hadn't got around to filming the haul, but we're doing it today. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. I'm gonna try it all on and I can't wait. I've been dying to get into this bag. You have no idea.